Oh, hello. This is Tak Chong from Walk with Tak. And welcome to my YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. In this video, I'm going to show you what I cooked last night and how I use my fast cooking system uh, to make my meal. I find that cooking each night is the best time of my day. It is the time of the day I feel that I'm in control and I feel relaxed. The main thing is that uh, I feel a sense of creativity as well as in control of what I'm trying to do in the kitchen. In fact, I feel my day is incomplete uh, if I do not cook my meal in the evening. In fact, my friend Jack told me the same thing uh, after he adopted my fast cooking system about a year ago. I started the evening by asking my wife what would she like for dinner. As she said, uh, she would like to have some salmon and shrimp. And because of advanced prepping, I have them always ready uh, to be used for any meal. And then she said uh, she would like to have a vegetable medley that would have eggplant and Brussels sprouts in it. But she has an additional request. She said she would like the vegetable medley have wok chi. And if you don't know much about wok chi, uh, you can take a look at this video. Uh, basically, wok chi could be summarized as one of my friends said, uh, just burn the ingredients a little bit. Of course, it's a little bit more than that. And in fact, what wok chi is that when you stir frying the food ingredients, you will achieve the following three characteristics. The first, of course, is the Maillard reaction uh, that will create flavor molecules on the surface of the food. A second is caramelization that will give a caramel flavor to the food. And lastly, uh, is a slight charring that gives the food a little bit of a smoky flavor. When you combine these three characteristics, I think you have pretty much achieved wok chi. So I look into the refrigerator and see what vegetable that I already have in advance prepping. Uh, I know my wife said she would like to have some eggplant and Brussels sprouts, which I have already prepped in advance. But I also find some carrots, which would be very nice to create caramelization because of the sugar content in the carrot. And I also have some broccoli that I need to use up. And last but not the least, I find some bitter melon. Again, it is calling for me to use it up. So this is the benefits of advanced prepping because you have all the food ingredients already uh, for you to use. And because of the convenience, it is more likely for you to use them up. And this is particularly true when it comes to vegetables. Okay, now we are ready to cook. Let's go into the kitchen and see how we can create this vegetable medley uh, with wok chi. Uh, eating more vegetables to stay healthy uh, is a well-recognized fact. With less than 9% of uh, Americans eat enough vegetables, uh, eating more vegetables is clearly an important goal for most people. Uh, however, generally, people do not like vegetables. Uh, my friend Jack told me that he never likes vegetables uh, until he start learn how to cook it correctly. Now he eats vegetables every day. He told me the most important thing is that to create a vegetable that has wok chi. Uh, wok chi adds a lot of flavor to the vegetables. And the second most important thing Jack said that uh, to create a vegetable that is wonderful in tasting uh, is that for it to have many different kinds of vegetables. Therefore, creating a vegetable medley uh, is crucial. It not only makes the dish more nutritional, but it is far more interesting. So when my wife told me that she would like to have a vegetable medley dish, I was very happy to go into the kitchen to see what I have available. I cooked this dish in my Kusina 14-inch stainless steel wok. I started out with some carrot. The carrots are thinly sliced so they could cook quickly, and this is followed by addition with some eggplant. Uh, all my vegetable medley dishes are the main ingredients, and in this case, the main ingredients are Brussels sprouts. Now, because I already have everything prepped in advance, uh, I do not have to use all the prep that I have. I can pick and choose and to use the ingredients that I prefer. Uh, usually, after I pick the main ingredients, uh, I will complement it with other ingredients that I have. 
And sometimes I use them because I think the flavor will match the dish. But some other time I use them uh, because I simply need to use them up. Cooking this uh, vegetable medley dish is very simple. You just follow the basic stir-fry template for vegetables. The most important guideline that you need to follow is that uh, you should start cooking the vegetables that require a longer time to cook and you put them into the wok first. And therefore, at the end, uh, all the ingredients will achieve the perfect texture that you would like. The next ingredient I'm going to add is a small amount of bitter melon. I personally really enjoy bitter melon because I grew up with it. Um, my wife is less so, but she will eat it because she realized that how nutritional it is. Uh, this is followed by a small amount of broccoli that has been lingering in the refrigerator for about uh, two weeks. As you can see here, uh, they are still in really good condition. And for some vegetable ingredients such as broccoli, advanced prepping by storing them in plastic containers extend their shell life. Uh, here you notice that uh, at the bottom of the wok has almost no oil at all. Uh, because of the lack of oil, uh, the wok temperature become much higher. Now this turned out to be a critical step to achieve wok chi. Uh, the elevated temperature first will cause the ingredients to caramelize, particularly in the case of carrot because it has a high sugar content. And you notice that some of the food ingredients start to become char on the surface and that will create a smoky flavor uh, of the food ingredients. At this point, I add some cooking oil uh, to lower the temperature so that to prevent uh, the ingredients from burning any further. And my cousin Marge uh, in Canada taught me how to create wok chi using this method in the home kitchen. Uh, to me, it works every time uh, because it creates that three conditions, the Mela reaction, caramelization, as well as charring of the food ingredients. Uh, she also told me that in order to maintain the flavor of the dish, I should continue stir-frying it without adding any water, which I normally add to the vegetables to soften their texture by steaming them. But in this case, I will keep stirring frying them until uh, it reached the texture that I like. I did a quick taste test and it tastes pretty good to me. And next, I add about two tablespoons of oyster sauce to flavor the dish. Of course, you can flavor the dish any way you will like. And the total cook time of this dish is about eight minutes. Before Jack adopted my fast cooking system, uh, he used to eat a lot of salad. After he had his heart attack, uh, his uh, doctor told him that he need to change his diet to a plant-based diet. He now uh, eats salad both in the traditional way as well as uh, by stir-frying vegetable medley, uh, which he called um, stir-fry salad. He said that the idea is basically the same, different kind of vegetables. Instead of eating them raw, you eating them by stir-frying them. Uh, Time-wise, he said that's really very little different. However, one thing he did mention is that advanced prepping actually help him both eating the regular raw salad as well. Uh, because he could use the advanced prepping of the vegetables uh, for both the raw salad as well as for stir-frying. But he viewed the stir-fried uh, vegetable actually is superior uh, than the raw salad, uh, mainly because he thinks that they taste better. And he can cook them and season them in many different ways. Uh, furthermore, uh, he need not to use any salad dressing which reduce the calorie value of the dish. And if you want to eat more vegetables that is interesting, tasty, and practical, uh, a stir-fried vegetable medley definitely is the way to go. Uh, personally, I love it, and I could eat such a vegetable medley every single day. I post a video each day to demonstrate my fast cooking system, which is flavor chasing, advanced prepping, stir-frying, and template-based cooking. If you'd like to learn more and to adopt this cooking system, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And thank you for watching. I will see you tomorrow.